Hey, it's Jim here, and I want to take a look at an issue we had with VS Codium for a Go project. So Stephanie was setting up some of her environment to work with Go, but we're having this problem with VS Codium where we're getting this issue with the Go path when we actually tried to install the plugin for the Go tools. So let's just take a look at what was going on there. So I uninstalled Codium so we can see this from the start. Um, and if we come up here and we look at our software center, and we're on Pop OS, so it's the Pop Shop here. And if we search for VS Codium like this, and we click on this, you'll see here that we do an install. And what's happening, I think behind the scenes, is that this is using a flat pack, which is a Docker-based uh, environment. Now, I'm not exactly sure. I haven't looked too much into how the pop store is running, but I think it's something like that. So now that we have VS Codium installed with pop store, we can actually come over here and we can look for the program VS Codium. And if I open that up, you can see here, we actually have some settings that we tried to play around with some of this stuff to fix some of our issues. So let me first come over here. So um, we have a basic project here. So let me open up main.go. It's not really doing much here. Um, but what's happening is we have this pop-up here saying that we failed to find the Go binary in either Go root or Go path. And then has a path with a bunch of stuff in it. Um, now, what, this is being generated by a plugin that we tried to install here. So we have this extension. Uh, this Go extension. This is like the main Go extension that's actually contributed by the Golang project. And normally this doesn't have any issues, but we're having this issue here where it's having trouble with the path. And if I look at this path here, it has a bunch of stuff in here. There's some cargo stuff in it. There's some Python. There's some node stuff. Um, but we don't see the actual path that is on Stephanie's computer. So this is a little odd. Now, one of the things that we did here is we were able to get Bash going by going to our settings. So we did a Control Shift P and we start typing settings. Uh, which is two T's. And then, you know, we did the uh, open our uh, default settings um, like this. Actually, no, it wasn't default settings. We opened up, um, let me try that again. Control Shift P, settings. Um, so our settings right here, we open this up like this. And then we just click this little icon at the upper right hand corner to open up the JSON of that. And then we tried to put in a couple of these things here. So we put in this terminal. Um, to make sure we get our bash because we weren't getting a bash shell before. And then we tried some other things that we saw from uh, some forum posts, but this wasn't really helping. So I'm just going to delete this. Um, and I'm actually going to remove this so I can show you what this looks like um, pre-bash. So I'm going to X out of this. And let me close out of this. And let me just destroy this. And let me start a new one of these terminals. So I just did a control um, tilde or uh, back tick character. And that opened the shell. And you can see that this... We have this sh5 shell here, which is strange. And you can get into bash by typing uh, bash, if you type it correctly. You can get into bash like that. You can exit out of it. Um, but the problem was we wanted this to happen by default. So I added this command, which is actually, um, this is deprecated, I believe. So we tried to, to save it like this. Um, I did control S to save that. And then we tried to do that so we can get the terminal open in by default. So that was looking like we were coming close. If I open this now, we're in bash. But that's actually not really right because if you look um, at our commands and everything that's available to us, this isn't quite right. So if we did something like echo our go path, it's still blank. If I tried to use tools like vi on, say, bash rc, bash rc, um, it says vi is not found. And I know vi is on Stephanie's computer. And we've, we just echo our path. Again, this is a path that was showing up in the error, but it's not the path that we get if we actually echoed our path like in our terminal over here. So for instance, if I came here and did an echo path, you see that this path here, which has user local bin inside of it, user local bin right here, um, this one does not have user local bin. Uh, so it has user bin, but we are having some issues and discrepancies. Now what's happening here, I believe, is that we're actually getting the terminal prompt from the containers that are used to run this program because it's being installed through the pop store. So what we actually want to do is we want to uninstall this version of it and install the version uh, natively on our computer that's on the VS Codium site using a Debian package. So let me show you how to do that. I'm going to come back up to our store here. We'll do our software center pop store. I'm going to uninstall this. And I can close out of this. And we can close out of Codium for now. Now, there's a couple issues here that are related to this, but let me bring up the one that we were looking at recently. So if we come here, there were some issues that we saw that looked like they were kind of talking about the same thing. I didn't see the exact answer that we needed, but basically I'm going to come over here to the VS Codium website and we're going to install uh, directly onto our computer. So if you try to come here and you try to search Control-F for like Pop OS, you're not going to find it. But if you look for Ubuntu, 
or, or Debian, um, you can see that there's some commands here. Now, uh, Pop! OS is based on Debian as well, so you can use these commands directly on Pop! OS as well. So I'm gonna copy this, and let me go to my terminal, and I'm going to Control shift v paste that, and I'll just enter the password for this computer. So we added that, and then we're gonna add this repository. I'm gonna copy everything here. And I've already done this on my computer. And if I come here now, we can update and install Codium. So let's do that now. So I'll run for a second. Now we have Codium over here. If we start this up again, bring it over here, uh, we still should have our going extension installed. But now it's not throwing that error anymore. And if we actually come over here and we hover over things in our command, we actually get some contextual clues about what these methods and properties are about. So that's how you can solve this issue. It was kind of a frustrating thing to debug. We couldn't really figure out why our path was different in VS Codium versus our local computer and why the tools weren't available to us. But I believe that's what's happening. So if you're having this issue on your computer, um, make sure that you're not in an environment that's Dockerized like a Ubuntu Snap or a Flatpak or something like that, and just get it into an environment that's native onto your computer, and then that should resolve this for you. All right, I hope that helps, and we'll see you soon.